Hagerstown Community College has a rich history, having started in 1946 as the first community college in Maryland. Primarily intended for World War II veterans, Hagerstown Junior College originally held classes in the basement of Hagerstown High School, and 10 years later moved into what was called the Cracker Box at South Hagerstown High School. Within a few years, Dean Atlee Kepler was appointed president. Through his efforts, and with oversight from the Washington County Board of Education, HJC was able to purchase land on Robinwood Drive. In 1966, HJC opened the current campus with 782 students. That physical move set the foundation for the long-term growth and success of the institution. Well, being the first class to arrive on this campus, when some of you talk about parking problems, I can tell you I parked on Robinwood itself many times and walked down the only entrance, which was the main entrance to the front. We watched the parking lots being built. We watched the buildings being finished. I often laughed, I arrived here before the grass. They put the sod down the following week. My first memories of being on this campus were in 1967 when my mother began taking classes here after the unexpected death of my father. And so I would come to school with her at night after she worked through the day and sit in the British Library with my Barbies while she took night classes. I first came to HCC as a high school senior in 1974. I was in the early college program before there was an early college program. When the college came to Robinwood Drive, Dr. Kepler was very instrumental in starting a legacy for the college that remains today. He was a, an innovator in starting uh, transfer programs that, that had good credential. He got the college accredited. He was able to start the foundation, and he certainly left a legacy that will long be remembered. HJC began as a junior college providing transfer programs. Uh, the deal was to come here, get your two-year degree, and then move on and get your bachelor's degree. Um, a few years after we started, Washington County Hospital closed its nursing program and asked the college to start to train nurses. I can remember people saying to me that um, the college would never be able to train nurses, and look at us today, we provide nursing staff to many of the hospitals in the region. Um, the Rad Tech program followed and all of a sudden we were a college not only for transfer but we were also training people for good jobs. I was here 37 years and had the opportunity to of course be part of the science division. We were initially, the career programs were placed in the existing divisions, which I thought was very good because it integrated us right into the college. And so over the years, it was uh, good to have those kinds of bonds and see the program grow and go basically from hand processing to digital capture imaging that we have and as we're sitting here today in the radiography lab. I'm one of the few people here at HCC who's had the pleasure of working with all four presidents. It's been interesting to watch as each of them employed their own unique strengths to advance the college and support the faculty and staff. Certainly the legacy of Dr. Kepler was to bring, bring the institution alive and to bring it to a point of sustainability, to critical mass where it could really grow. And he did a fantastic job of that, uh, to really put, uh, at that point, HJC on the map. Uh, Norm Shea came in and was a prodigious, I've mentioned this several times before, a prodigious acquirer of real estate. Uh, he gave us a footprint that, uh, you know, is, is wonderful. And, you know, he really focused us as far as uh, the college and its, you know, its infrastructure in ways that uh, we have yet to, to fully realize. And uh, Guy Terry came in and uh, his, his programs were super strong. You know, he was, you know, dedicated to uh, the STEM disciplines and growing that. And he started the STEM Middle College, which is now the Middle College. And uh, for that, it, the, the students who've gone through those programs have benefited enormously. Um, our Student Center uh, is, you know, dedication certainly to, to his tireless work and dedication to our students. So each of those individuals, I'm, I'm just so humbled to follow them uh, and their legacies and uh, try and make this institution better. In 
in addition to a strong history of academic programs, the college has a long history of student activities. And a lot of those involve athletics. And of course, they were all boosted with the building of the Arc on campus. They tore down the old gym before they had the Arc built. So that's how, what happened. So in that year, which was the fall of 88, there was no place to practice. So that's when we went down to the Sharpsburg Armory and had to practice at the Armory and have all those away games. So then in 1989, my second year here, was when we were the first team that played in the Arc. The emotions I have about uh, HJC is, um, it was the fan support. It was 5,000 fans here every night. It was standing room only, and that, that, that stuck with me for the longest. Because of Coach Jim Brown was here, he brought a lot of people out. A lot of people followed and supported him. So theater at the college began in the classroom building, in the auditorium, directed by Sarah Schlesinger, who was a full-time professor. She really brought the program into being and created the Robin Wood Players. Then we were very fortunate when this facility here that we're sitting in, the Kepler Theater, opened in 1978. From that time on, theater has happened at least two times and normally three times a year in the Kepler Theater. Eventually, we opened a renovated performing arts center and visual arts center here in the Kepler. And the first production in 2012 was one that I was privileged to direct with both current students and alumni, and it was a wonderful production of Camelot to open the building again. I discovered through playing music and I discovered through teaching music in the classroom that um, the college can change lives. Education is powerful and I've witnessed HCC changing lives many times. Um, I've seen it as an administrator, I've seen it in the classroom, and the power of what HCC does with individual lives is amazing. I had uh, Mr. Mike Harsh in public speaking and, you know, Forgive me for saying this, I dreaded going into the class because I hated public speaking, but I will say throughout that course, I got more and more comfortable. Um, very much appreciated his teaching style, his support. Um, and to this day, one of the things that, you know, is a big part of my job is public speaking. Coach Palmer was our volleyball coach. She took the position because basically at the time she was the basketball coach and they needed a volleyball coach. And she would look at us girls and say, I don't need to teach you anything. Y'all know how to play volleyball. She said, all you have to do is go out there with your basics. However, what she gave us in life to this day was she ran us to death because she was a marathon runner. So we literally just ran and ran and ran. The girls on our team that were not runners despised it, but when in the end, that year, we went to nationals in Miami, we won the region. One of the things that I saw a long time ago, a quote, and it's kind of stuck in my mind, is that the essentials of happiness are something to do, something to love, and something to hope for. And that's what Hagerstown Community College means to me, in that so many dreams are realized here. We, the faculty and the staff have helped so many people in the community to realize their, their dreams. That's why I really do this, because I mean, I just love to hear the success stories. Yeah, I love winning games, but I, what I love the most is just winning in life. So once you leave here, get your associate's degree. Don't come here for two years and don't leave here with an associate's degree. Because that's, that's half of the battle right there. You're halfway through. Taking that individual from where they are and helping them get to where they want to go. I mean, that's the core mission of HCC, and that will never change. HJC, HCC really is a gem for generations. There are so many different interactions that have taken place here, not just academics, not just degrees, but marriages, friendship bonds, uh, people that have known each other their entire lives based on their association from meeting here at the college. Well, my husband and I are both huge advocates of Hagerstown Community College. Uh, as I said, my sister attended the year before me. I actually met my husband here on this campus. I was a senior in high school and I came over to try out for the volleyball team and my sister introduced me to him and that was 33 years ago. 
Well, we definitely have an emotional connection. In fact, I met my wife on the walkway going up to the campus and uh, life developed from there. And uh, we have a couple other very close friends that were also part of that year of college education. And when Judy said something uh, to me, uh, I told her, I said, well, he had contacted me and I said, you know, I'm going to back out at this point. And she said, Brenda, it's not like you're going to marry the man. It's just a date. So, uh, and that's 28 years ago. The bond I made here is still going this many years later. So I always say to my daughter, they played two years ago and lost here at the ARC in the regional championship. And leaving that day was hard for me because I wanted her to win so bad so that she could have had the same experience we had 30 years ago because I played in 89 and she played in 2019. And I said, what you have to realize, I said, don't be sad that it's over, be thankful that it happened. And that I think she's gonna form a lifelong bond with her girlfriend that she played with here who was also in the x-ray program. HCC has had a long history of very strong leaders uh, on its boards, from uh, uh, Merle Elliott and others who were icons in the community who served on the board. Our board today, a group of strong, dedicated citizens who want to see the very best for not only for the college, but for their community. The HCC Alumni Association has had a great impact in the community. We've done lots of things, including the Flower and Garden Show, our golf tournament. We built the amphitheater on campus. I feel like it's been a bonding organization for alumni, and we've certainly made lots of friends on the college campus, in the community, and in our alumni association. As I've watched it grow over the years and evolve, I think it's very valuable to this community. The fact that you don't have to come here for an associate's degree, you can come here for some of the short-term special learning programs. The biggest public health you know, crisis that we faced in over 100 years, one of our biggest partners is the community college. And so, you know, not only providing physical space, but working with the president and leadership out there to really ensure the safety you know, of the students that go there, which extends out into the community. This college is one of the crown jewels in Washington County, and it has become that way because of the work and effort of all of our employees over the years, our donors over the years, and the thousands of students that have come here over the years and benefited from what it's had to offer. We are moving away from the university for all uh, mentality and we're really moving into a, a skills-based mentality um, or where certifications and credentials are uh, going to be the coin of the education realm. Online has become the wave of the future, so now I feel like it's opened up so many more opportunities. So I think the fact that I've been gone for 30 years and you're saying the next 25 years what it has to offer, I feel that by all the online classes, it has expanded to so many more people, opportunities. I feel very confident that the college will continue in the right direction. Uh, part of what I've learned with being part of the Alumni Association and I see where we're able to help and function with things is all very positive and supportive of future strengths and future beings. And uh, with that combination, I feel very good that this college will be around for a long time and provide the right things for our area. I think the secret of HCC's success has been caring people over 75 years, employees who have been dedicated to students who, you know, they make sure that if a student stumbles, they do everything in their power to make sure they do not fall and uh, help these students get to where they want to go. And I think that has made all the difference. That and we have a group of donors over 75 years that have, have given their, their time toil and treasure to uh, help our students get scholarships, to help, help make their road easier. And uh, for that, uh, we are all very grateful.